Okay, I'm going to give you an idea of exactly the procedure for the snap-on smile. So here we have our patient, and let's go ahead and get a close-up and see exactly why we're doing the snap-on. Mercedes, you want to go ahead and talk about why you've chosen to uh, do the snap-on smile? Sure. Um, I chose the snap-on smile because um, I'm missing teeth on the upper and bottom, and my teeth are really small. We tried to do the implants, but they turned out really expensive and we weren't financially able to do that. So she is congenitally missing her laterals and her cuspids have moved into the lateral position, which has created a space in the cuspid position bilaterally. On her lower arch, she also is congenitally missing, actually she's not missing uh, any teeth on the left, she just has a space. And on the right, the same thing, she just has spaces. If you notice, when she bites down, go ahead and close, she has very small teeth. And smile, hun, you really don't notice her teeth when she smiles. So we've opted to choose the snap-on smile to do two things. Number one, give her a more aesthetic smile and open up her bite just slightly so when she does smile, she'll have teeth. We've already taken the full set of x-rays. I've already examined her. She's decay free. Her gums are healthy. And now we're going to go ahead and take the impression. We're going to start with the lower. The upper impression is done the exact same way. So let's go ahead and uh, we've chosen the tray. So let's go ahead and try the tray in just to make sure that the tray does fit. And your assistant can do this. It's very simple. You want to make sure that the tray fits over all the existing teeth just as though you were doing a preparation for crowns. Is that comfortable? All right. Also can use the splash medium body and then you trough it and then you put the light body. And now we're going to take the impression. We're going to start with the lower impression. This patient has chosen to do both upper and lower snap on smile. Sometimes you can just have a lower, sometimes just an upper. But for this particular patient, we're going to go ahead and start with the lower impression. My assistant is going to mix up the putty and she's going to take one scoop of each and she's going to mix them together and it takes about two minutes of working time. Go ahead and load it into the tray and she's going to trough it. So she's going to make a trough right here and that's where your light body is going into. So go ahead and let's place the light body in. And now she's going to place it into the patient's mouth. We seat it from the back to the front with light pressure and it takes about four minutes to set. So we wait for four minutes. So it's been about four minutes so it's, it's ready to be removed. So we go ahead and we take the impression out. I want to get a close-up because you can see that it's absolutely perfect. The margins are precise. You don't see any voids. You see no holes and you see no tears. Very, very important that the impression is perfect. Just like a crown and bridge impression or an implant impression, there is no room for error. The next step is to take the bite registration material, which is really important so we know how the teeth fit together and it's important for the lab. We use Denmat's bite registration material. It comes in some great flavors and it actually tastes good, right? Yes. So the assistant will go ahead and place the material over the occlusal surfaces of the lower teeth. The stuff only takes about 30 seconds to set, which is really, really great. Saves a lot of time.
So as she places it over the occlusal surfaces, the patient bites down, and then you can add a little bit excess just to make sure that you establish an accurate bite. And again, she'll close down for 30 seconds. The patient then opens, and let's show them exactly the bite. It's nice and rubbery, and there you have it, an accurate bite impression, so the lab knows exactly how the patient bite registers. Our next step is to pick the color, the right shade for the snap-on smile. You must have the snap-on smile shade guide. Usually we find that most patients choose S9 or S10. Those are our most popular colors for the snap-on smile. Then we go ahead and we fill out the snap-on smile sheet. I'll be going over this in detail with you, but this must be filled out completely. The next step is we want to make sure we get really great before and after pictures. So we take our before pictures and we send them to the lab so they will have a good guide into making the Snap-on Smile appliance. This is my favorite appointment. It's when the patient receives their Snap-on Smile and it is rewarding for the entire staff and for me. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the upper appliance and this is the lower appliance. So we're going to go ahead and try them in. What you want to do is you seat them from one side to the other. So we're going to try the left side in first and then we place it over the right and it should just fit nice and snug. On the lower, the same thing. You go from one side to the other. So we'll try the right side in first and then to the left side. Have the patient bite down and let's have her take a look. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're beautiful step is we want to adjust the snap-on smile. It's very easy to adjust just night, like a night guard, so we go ahead and check her occlusion with articulating paper. Go ahead and open, bite down, tap, tap, hard, and open, bite down, tap hard. Again, and open. Go ahead and take a look, and I'm going to take this out. First of all, you want to ask your patient when you bite down, does it feel even, or are you hitting on one side more than the other? It feels even. It looks even, too. So let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and take the lower one out. You can see the marks are pretty even on both sides. She might be a little bit heavy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Snap-on Smile Fur Kit. I'm going to place it into my handpiece and I'm going to adjust. After we adjust, then we want to polish. So we can go from uh, coarse to fine. So we'll take the burrs and we can polish, first of all, with this one. Then we'll go to a less coarse. Finally, we'll polish with what I call a bristle brush on a bad hair day, and we'll polish the final luster. If you want to open up your embrasures, you can use this green burlu wheel, and you can open up your embrasures in between each of the teeth. Works beautifully. Okay, so now we go ahead and we seat the case. Bite down. Ask the patient, how does it feel? Even. Say 66. 66. Say church. Church. Say F. F. Does the speech sound the same? 
Are you sure? You can say no. Does <laughs> no. it sound the same? I have a little lisp. Okay, where's your lisp? That's okay. important. If you have a lisp, what you want to do is you want to thin out the lingual aspect of the upper arch. You want to put light pressure because you want to make sure that you don't get too thin. And then, of course, you have to go back and polish. So let's try it again and see if we've had any improvement. All right. Say church. Church. That sounds better. Say 66. 66. Does that sound better? A little bit. Okay. Do you want a little bit more removed? Yes. All right. So then just ask the patient and they'll let you know. And sometimes it'll take a while, just like on a denture, it takes the patient a while to get used to it. So you can have them back in a couple of weeks and do further adjustments. Let's try it again. Say 66. 66. That sounds good. And church? Church. Much better? Yes. All right, so that's how you do the adjustment. Then, of course, we're going to go in and finish polishing it. And we then will go over um, all of the procedure as far as the snap-on small powder and gel that comes with the appliance. But basically, this is a very quick review of how to do the snap-on small from start to finish. Thank you. What are you gonna? What are you? You know, you call your friends when you get home and say, "Look, come over." <laughs> what are you gonna I'm do? Sweet about it. I love my snap-on smile. <laughs> That's great. <laughs>